Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and selamat sejahtera. In this video, we will discuss the introduction of standard costing and variant analysis. If you like this video, please subscribe, like and share. The subtopic in this video are definition of standard costing, uses of standard costing, types of standard, calculation of standard costing, definition of variance analysis, and implication of variance analysis. Definition of standard costing. A standard costs are predetermined unit costs which are used as measure of performance. Standard costing value is manufactured product with a predetermined material cost, a predetermined direct labor cost, and a predetermined manufacturing overhead cost. It also means that the standard cost is the budgeted cost for a unit of product or service offered. It is carefully crafted and needs to be accepted and accessible. The standard cost is also the predetermined cost or expected cost for each unit of output. While standard costing is a process in determining the cost of a predetermined unit. Standard costs and budgeted costs are different. Standard cost means the budgeted cost of one unit of products, while budgeted cost means the total amounts of whole budgeted production. Uses of standard costing. Standards are important for decision making. For example, how we produce our products or how we price our products. Secondly, for monitoring, manufacturing or controlling. Large variances may indicate of problems in production. It can detect any changes on projection costs. Thirdly, for performance measurement. Differences between actual and standards are often used as measures of a manager's performance. Fourthly, standard costing is a tool that helps management accounts in controlling costs. Fifthly, it facilitates management planning. And lastly, it's useful in setting selling price. Setting standards. How do we set the standards? Standard costs are developed in a variety of ways. General practices to set the standards by first prior year's performance secondly expected future performance under normal operating condition thirdly develop from price lists provided by suppliers fourthly determine time and motion studies conducted by industrial engineers and fifthly, develop from analysis of past data. In our syllabus, there are two types of standards. Firstly, ideal standards, and secondly, normal standards. Ideal standards represent optimum level of performance under perfect operating conditions. 
it is developed under the assumption that no obstacle to the production process will be encountered. The level of performance under ideal standards would be achieved through the best possible combination of factors. For example, the most favorable prices for material and labels, highest output with best equipment and layout, and maximum efficiency in the utilization of the production resources. Anyway, the ideal standards is hard to achieve and it is not widely used. Normal standards represent efficient level of performance that are attainable under expected operating conditions. It is developed under the assumption that there will be occasional problems in the production process such as equipment failure, high labor turnover and material defects. It is used to compare between expected performance with actual performance achieved in a period time. Compared to ideal standards, the normal standards is most accessible. Calculation of standard costing for direct material equals to SQ times SP. SQ is stand for standard quantity per unit, while SP stand for standard price per unit. Calculation of standard costing for direct labor equals to SH multiplied by SR. SH is stand for standard hour per unit, while SR stand for standard rate per hour. Calculation of standard costing for manufacturing overhead equals to POR, the predetermined overhead rate. The formula is Estimated overhead cost over estimated activity. So, to calculate the standard costing for manufacturing overhead equals to POR multiply by estimated per unit activity. For example, standard labor hour per unit. Variance analysis. Variance analysis is an analysis of the difference between total standard cost and total actual cost. Variance analysis attempt to identify and explain the reason for the difference between a standard amount and an actual amount. Standard cost is an expected cost or predetermined cost for a unit of goods or services offered. An actual cost is the cost that spent on each unit of completed products. There are four types of variance analysis that we should study. Firstly, is the direct material variances. Secondly, direct labor variances. Thirdly, variable overhead variances. And fourthly, fixed overhead variances. In variance analysis, if the actual cost is smaller than the standard cost, it means favorable. If 
the actual cost is bigger than the standard cost, it means unfavorable. The implication of variance analysis, who is responsible for the variances? For direct material price variance, the person responsible is purchasing department. For direct material quantity variance, the person responsible is production department. For direct labor rate variance, the person responsible is human resource department. For direct labor efficiency variance, the person responsible is production department. For variable overhead expenditure variance, the person responsible is production department. For variable overhead efficiency variance, the person responsible is production department. For fixed overhead expenditure variance, the person responsible is manufacturing supervisor. And for fixed overhead volume variance, the person responsible is production department. Okay, that's all for the introduction. If you like this video, please subscribe, like and share. Thank you for watching. Assalamualaikum and selamat sejahtera.